Hello there. Writing prompts for short stories, short story ideas, whatever you want to call it. Beat that writer's block. Okay. Um, as I said yesterday, I'm theming the days because it just makes life a little bit easier. So I'm going to call today something really hokey because it's Sunday. Selfie Sunday. And I'll just write this one now because it just occurred to me. Today's the first day of the month and when I was a kid, and I still do this, probably should admit it, but I don't care because it keeps me focused on things that crop up, all these kind of strange little um, bits and bobs that make life interesting. Uh, that is, I, my mum uh, got me saying uh, white rabbits three times twice. So you had to say white rabbits, white rabbits, white rabbits, white rabbits, white rabbits, white rabbits. And that was, I believe, yesterday, not today. Uh, yes, I did say yesterday. Today's the 2nd of August. Um, and nothing wrong with uh, saying white rabbits as many times as you like, because it is, after all, just a superstition. Part of the reason I say it is because, like I say, crazy things, unusual things, and um, nice things happen all the time. The whole point about white rabbits is that something nice will happen during the month. So when something really, really, really big occurs, I kind of notice it. And I think, oh, white rabbits. Um, so you could take as your prompt today either some little talisman or ritual or whatever of your own which is bordering on superstitious touch wood or you always have to say a certain phrase in a certain situation if you're an actor that would be break a leg that kind of thing and you write a story based on what you say coming true so in the case of white rabbit you do get a massive surprise and Preferably, preferably um, the, 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 the fiction should avoid something dead obvious like winning the lottery. It should be, I don't know, um, you, you find that you've got an overgrown, your protagonist finds that their, their garden's overgrown, it's a bit too much for them, and then out of the blue, somebody comes along, knocks on the door and says, look, I know it's a bit cheeky, but I haven't got a garden. I notice yours is a bit overgrown, do you mind if I look after it? And I'll plant some vegetables and we'll split it 50-50. That would be a white rabbit's. Yeah, kind of, oh, great. Well, see who's me doing it. Um, and the, the other thing would be the kind of a talisman idea where you touch wood and whistle, uh, or if you're a... Uh, an actor, you hear someone say Macbeth, and then all kinds of bad things happen. There are do documented cases of uh, superstitions being broken in the theatre, and therefore certain, um, well, they put it down to that, but certain movies being doomed. There was uh, The Crow with uh, Bruce Lee's son, Brandon. Um, the Matrix, apparently that was bad, and there was another movie which a lot of people uh, died within five years. And then, of course, there was um, Tutankhamun's tomb opened in 1926, I think, by one Professor Carter, and um, everybody died within ten years of that happening. So uh, there you go. Um, that, that, that would be something to, you know, to curse. And let's very quickly, 355, look at how you could turn that into, um, right, so um, a comedy, well, I suppose uh, be some comedic element in, in, in somebody following, uh, oh, in fact, there was a, a film, a Yes Man, about that, uh, Jim Carrey, um, it's, uh, he and, and, and also uh, there's only one Jimmy Grimble, I think it is. Um, you know the whole Golden Boots type of thing. They, they they can only play when they've got their their um, their, their football boots, the the red ballet shoes. I'm not sure the red shoes. Uh, literary uh, fiction, uh, an examination of um, the effect on the human psychology of a family member or somebody who, oh, well, okay, big case in point was Adolf Hitler, um, started uh, 
bringing the war, thank goodness for us lot, uh, according to astrology, and uh, of course, uh, thank goodness, um, romance, well, you know, the white rabbits, um, um, I don't know, Cinderella gets her Prince Charming, uh, what will be the reverse of that, I think it's the Princess Bride, isn't it, um, Dread Pirate Roberts meets the Princess, um, sci-fi, ooh, uh, yeah, okay, some artifact, and somebody believes it brings good or bad luck. They find it on the moon or on Mars or somewhere like that. Is it an artifact? Oh, something from below the sea. Uh, crime and mystery, okay, like the Maltese Falcon. Um, yeah, somebody's willing to pay money uh, for this, so um, murder and mayhem. So it'd be crime and mystery and thrillers. Historical, well, I've already mentioned uh, Tutankhamun's tomb. Lots of tomb situations. Or it could be art, something like that. Political. Mm. Oh, uh, political, the uh, the scone stone. Uh, or the scone stone. I think it's the scone stone. Uh, some, yeah. Britain's very guilty of this, but I'm sure we're not the only nation that have stolen things. And we believe that um, it, if, if it goes back to its homeland, then uh, Britain will collapse. Like it hasn't already, he said darkly. Yeah, somebody should have stolen Thatcher. Did I really say that out loud? Sorry. Political surreal, that would go in with sci-fi and fantasy horror. Uh, okay, yeah. Curses and supernatural beings. Where are we? Seven minutes. But wrap this up fast. Biographical. Well, write a biography of the people in uh, in the the tomb raiding situations. As I said, it doesn't have to necessarily be the pyramids. Uh, jury. Somebody steals a talisman from a a museum, and they do it for wacky reasons. Maybe some sort of cult or whatever and maybe the jury are infiltrated with these people it could be it could be an interesting story okay right uh, 7 34 i'm getting faster and getting faster and getting faster okay uh like and subscribe if you're finding this useful and get writing come on can you lots of things now about three weeks worth there's 21 little hints there and play what if with them don't just follow my suggestions play what if turn them around do something, get writing, publish on Amazon, ta-da.